Hello everyone, this is Professor Lee. Let's solve this problem. In this problem, we have two couples act on the beam. If the resultant couple moment is to be zero, then we have to determine the distance D between A and B. All right, so in this figure, we see there are two couples as given from the problem. Why? To confirm the couple, we are going to use this animation. Okay, so with this slide, let's confirm how to determine a couple. In this slide, we do have a couple. These two arrows, they are a couple. So why? Because first, there are two forces. Yes, these two vectors up and down, they're the two force vectors. But to become a couple, these two forces must satisfy the following four conditions. First, they must be parallel. Yes, as we see in this figure, they are parallel. And then second, they must have the same magnitude. Yes, as we see here, they do have the same magnitude as F. And then they must also be opposite direction. They must have opposite direction. As we see the arrow, one is upward, another one is downward. Okay, almost. Then the last condition to become a couple must be these two forces satisfying these all three conditions. Also, finally, lastly, they must be separated by a perpendicular distance d. Yes, they were the separate. They were separated by this per, uh, by the perpendicular distance d in this graphic. Therefore, these two forces f will be a couple. All right. With this confirmation, we can go to the worksheet here. And then let's start our solution. All right. So then now, uh, okay, first of all, here, as the given information, we do know the magnitude of each couple. F of one couple, so here let's graphically indicate F of one couple, so we're gonna write down F of one couple, this one is our F of one. So therefore, this one is let's label F of one for our convenience. And then 500 will be our F of two in our solution. This will be our F of two. All right, okay then, now here, so magnitude of each couple is given, but also we do have important information from the problem. The resultant couple moment must be zero to find our distance between A and B. All right, then here, resultant couple moment, therefore couple moment is a vector, so don't skip the arrow here. So resultant couple moment, M of R, that must be zero. From this, we do know direction and the magnitude. Summation of all the co uh, couple moments must be zero. All right. That's the given. From this given information, we have to find the distance between A and B. So in this graphic here, this is our D, A, and B. That's the distance we have to find. What is it? Let's start our solution. So very first step, we're going to define our coordinate. Since our system is in a two-dimensional space, we need these two coordinates, x and y. Again, these two axes are not enough. We're talking about moment as well. Therefore, we're going to assume this counterclockwise for the moment. This is also our positive directions. Therefore, total of these three directions are going to be our positive directions in our solution. All right, we have a good start. All right, then now what we're going to do, we're going to find a couple moment created by each couple. How many couples we do we have? Three couples. Uh, two couples here but technically we do have three couples why because we see here the f of one is inclined with an angle 30 degrees and then the distance geometric information from the problem is very straightforward only horizontal distance and vertical distance and therefore using the given information to find the couple moment 
we need to resolve this inclined force as a straightforward horizontal component and vertical components, so vertical component here. Same for this couple, horizontal component and vertical component so that we can use this given geometrical information. So here then, let's write down. So f of 1x component is what? Let's directly use the given information. So this using 30 degrees, x component must be 300 times sine 30 degrees. What about vertical com component? Must be 300 times what? Cosine 30 degrees. Let's move to this force, which is a couple with this force. So here, then, since this is 90 degrees, 60 degrees or 30 degrees, they're going to be same. The result will be same applying uh, trigonometry appropriately. So, but we're going to use 60 degrees here, then uh, x component must be what? 300 times cosine 60 degrees for the x component. So let's confirm 300 times cosine 60 will be exactly same result, will have the same result 300 times sine 30 degrees. So either degree information should be fine. Still this one, horizontal left, horizontal right, with this much of magnitude, they're a couple. Okay, then what about vertical component here? Using 60 degrees here should be sine 60s. So therefore, this one must be 300 times sine 60 degrees. Okay, so here again, vertical component upward, 300 cosine 30 degrees. The here, vertical component downward, 300 sine 60 degrees. They are a couple because the same magnitude. Okay, cosine 30, sine 60, they're exactly same value. So therefore, this is also a couple. All right. So therefore, even though we do have one couple from 300 neurons with this inclination, technically, we do have two couple from it. That's what we see. All right. So we're going to do then step by step from each couple information. But let's recall first to confirm our strategy to solve this one. So here first, we need to identify the moment arm because we're going to find the couple moment here. Couple moment, M of R, M, couple moment can be found by magnitude wise moment arm times absolute value over a couple. Then what about direction? Direction, we're going to apply right-hand rule. Okay, so therefore, what will be the moment arm will be an issue to us. So here, moment arm for the couple moment will be perpendicular distance between the couple. That was the definition of the moment arm for the couple moment. All right, so confirming this definition, let's start our solution to find the couple moment from horizontal couple moment of 300 neurons first. All right, so I'm going to call this one as f of 1 couple moment from x component can be found by here. Okay, the horizontal component is this one, 300 cosine 60 or 300 times sine 30 degrees. Either one will be fine because they do have exactly same value. There are a couple. So what if I do choose 300 cosine 60 degrees, this one, then what will be the moment arm? Okay, definition of the moment arm will be the perpendicular distance between them. All right, then I'm going to draw line of action of this force. Then another force will be this one, line of action of this one, then perpendicular distance between them. Therefore, should it be what? 0.2 meters between them. All right. So therefore, the moment arm will be 0.2. Okay. We just write down this moment arm times the absolute value of the magnitude. Therefore, this will be our absolute value of the f of 1x component. Therefore, 300 cosine 60 degrees. 
or you can substitute definitely 300 sine 30. They're the equal value. Okay, then we're gonna write, uh, we're gonna apply right hand rule. Okay, how to apply right hand rule for this scenario? So here then, we're gonna use right hand rule, thumbs up or thumbs down. So we're gonna start from thumbs up and then let's see. So here then, since we do have two fourths candidates, for the starting or ending point. So either one should do, provide the same result. For example, well, I'm gonna start from this A as my starting point. Then ending point will be this horizontal component from B point here. Okay, then we're gonna start from thumbs up. So thumbs up, then I'm gonna place my fingers starting from A, right fingers here, then place all the four fingers to the momonar, which is this vertical line, green line, and then call your four fingers. Can I call the fours? No, I cannot call this ending point of the fours. Therefore, I have to flip it. Okay, flip it, all right, then this one is not working, then again, Flip it means a thumbs down posture. So starting from thumbs up posture, my right hand, the starting point of this one, and then place your four right fingers to this moment arm. So here then we can call this direction with a thumbs down posture. Yes, therefore the direction must be minus. If you calculate this one, it turns out to be minus 30 Newton meter following the unit system here. Then what about the vertical component? The vertical component is coming from couple moment from force but y component. Okay, let's name it like this. And the magnitude of this couple moment can be found by moment arm times f of 1y. So here then moment arm f of 1y is here. So let's draw the line of action here. The line of action, so here I'm going to erase this one. Let's erase this one to clarify. Okay, so then, here then, the line of action of f of 1y component is this one and this one. All right, therefore perpendicular distance, oh, our D, our finding is here. This one must be our uh, moment arm for the F of one Y. So here then, we see the one moment arm for the uh, F of one Y is D. Okay, that's what we have to find. And then absolute value of F of one Y is what? 300, it was here. 300 vertical, therefore, was a, was a sine 60 uh, degrees, therefore, so it's going to be 300 sine 60 degrees. All right, that's the magnitude of the couple movement that's created by the forcible one y component. Then what about the direction? All right, the direction wise here, we have two options to choose starting and ending point, but either one should provide the same result. So for example, at this stage, so let's say this one will be our ending point and this one will be our starting point. All right, then we're gonna start from thumbs up posture, then let's see it works. We can call this upward ending point force direction. If we cannot, then we have to flip it. All right, then let's start from thumbs up posture. So here then, with this ending point, uh, starting point, we're gonna place our right hand, starting from here, and then four right fingers onto our woman arm. Then call, can we call this upward vertical force, which is our ending point of a couple? Yes, then yes, it's going to be thumbs up posture will work. Therefore, positive because the thumbs up posture will be positive, thumbs down will be negative. All right, so then it should be positive, and if you calculate this one, it's going to be 259.8076 D Newton meters. All right, then what about the couple moment from the couple 500 neurons? Okay, then let's write down here. So then 
let's say all right then we do have the couple moment from for of two couple we named we labeled that one the magnet of 500 neurons all right so that couple can create a couple moment following the formula what will be the moment arm so here then we see that one the here i'm going to use this pink color for the f of two couple so here one is a horizontal left direction another is a horizontal right direction i just using this pink bold color it represents the line of action and therefore moment arm for that couple will be perpendicular distance between the couple therefore two meters will be the moment arm all right then two meters the magnitude of 500 that's why we have to multiply it by to estimate to calculate the couple moment magnitude so therefore moment arm was two meters and then magnitude was 500 neurons that was the magnitude of a couple from force of two then what about direction same strategy so i'm going to use again the here the green color for this f of two so we have two options this 500 this 500 can be starting or ending point either one will provide the same result so here then i'm gonna well, well this one the upward right direction this direction horizontal force couple that will be my ending point to determine the direction then another couple will be my starting point if you don't like this one then you to choose this one as ending point then this one will be starting point okay either way we'll provide our same answer all right then starting from the thumbs up posture then place your for uh the right hand here starting from here then place your four right fingers onto your moment arm then your your four fingers going to this direction if you call but with this posture we cannot call this force ending point couple therefore this thumbs up posture is not working then what we have to do flip it flip it means thumbs down posture again starting from this couple then place your four fingers with the thumbs down posture thumbs down posture yes call then now can we call this force yes we can call therefore thumbs down posture will work for this couple so therefore should it be minus so thumbs down posture therefore minus if we calculate this is going to be 1000 newtons meters okay then now once we do have all the couple moments from each couple, we can add them together to find one single couple moment. It's called resultant couple moment. Resultant couple moment can be found by couple moment from first x component, couple moment for first couple one but y component, and couple moment from couple two will be minus one zero three zero then our d is here that's what we have to find so here plus two five nine point eight zero seven six d we didn't round off here in this solution because we want to keep all the digits as best as we can to keep our accuracy so here then now this must be given from the problem the resultant couple moment is to be zero resultant couple moment is to be zero therefore this must be zero all right great because we see here one unknown d one equation we can definitely find this information d from this one equation if we solve this one it's going to be 3.9645 meters moment arm is the length unit all right okay then let's write down here student distance is a scalar if we don't have an arrow here so moment arm is going to be following our three six one two three if we round off still we do have 
3.96 meters. That's going to be our answer. Thank you, everyone. See you next time.